What's the perspective on immigration? I'm out here doing errands here, but I wanted to uh, run this by you. Quick video. I'm done in a little while, but my take on the immigration thing, this catch and release, the policies that uh, Trump's talking about have been pretty much a disaster and led to this cluster of just misinformation and playing politics with immigration. We are a great country. It should be an honor to come here. It should be a privilege to come here. And you, you should just go make it easy. Just go down. You can you can ask for asylum right at the, the border, at the ports. You don't have to come into the country to do that. And we'll work with them. Catch and release is a joke. You know, that is true. They catch them. And they release them. Say, hey, show up to court. Well, why would they show up to court? There's no, there's no incentive to go to court. They don't have to do anything. They just disappear. They go wherever they want to go. But there's a, you know, one uh, one theory is cloud and pivot. It's a socialist program to get everybody uh, in here, bankrupt the system, and take it over with a socialist government. You cause chaos. You cause a lot of problems. And you know you. People come in here, they don't have any skills. Their countries they came from are poor. And, you know, I feel bad for them. But shouldn't they work on their own countries? Shouldn't we incentivize, uh, hey, Mexico, do something for your people. Make it a better place to live. Do exactly what America has done. Create, create opportunity. But that, that's been a very corrupt government for many, many years. And there's a lot of problems down there. As well as a lot of countries that are just poor. Banana republics. So the cloud and piven thing is, as I said, bankrupts the country. Then they could just take over. Democrats, unfortunately, they feel that this is their new voting block. Because they have no fresh ideas. I almost feel that what is a conservative... A conservative is someone who sticks by the, the traditional line. The new conservatives are the liberals. They want to keep this, this line going of all this corrupt polit- politicizing. And, and I know really what the, the main story is. The main one is, is because they're so corrupt and they're globalists and it's to take over the country and basically make us uh, slaves. We're slaves now. And it's all like falling apart. I, I just see as the red wave is coming. Immigration, they should fix, but they won't. They think it's a political issue that will enrage the Democrats to go vote for them. But I think more people are waking up going, I think nothing's worked. This guy, he, he solved the North Korea issue. He's a problem solver, Trump is. Regardless of what you think about him. When you have a businessman that looks at a problem, you work at a job, and someone comes in and says, hey, let's fix this problem in a company. You're going to fix the problem because otherwise you won't have a job. Some screw it up, yeah. But he doesn't seem like the type. If you're a billionaire, which he is, and he proved that. Even Rachel Maddow proved that he was successful. And that ball, that, that total uh, canard on her show, that, oh, he's this, we have it. And it showed nothing wrong. The guy became popular for well, what reason? Because he was successful and he was outgoing and he was a, he's a bigger life personality. It's just the way he is. Even Kurt Cobain said back in the day, we need, we need a guy to go in and clean house like a Donald Trump. He said that before he committed suicide in 93. Even back then, people knew one guy in business that had the personality to take, had the broad shoulders to take on all the, the crap from the globalists and the opposition would be a Donald Trump. That itself is pretty amazing to me. He was able and willing to risk everything. But he had a lot to, lot to his risk, but he's got a great family that can uh, take care of his businesses. I've been red-pilled for a while. And when you're red-pilled, 
you really can't squeeze the toothpaste back in the tube because the truth is out there. Some people may think on the left that they're red pill. It's not a right left paradigm anymore. It's who's who is a treasonous bastard and who is an American. And all countries want should be uh, nationalists. That's my thoughts for today.